Hi, it's Fiona Hooper here again, and I'm back for another weekly instalment of the Poetry of Painting. At last, the weather seems to have been cheering up a bit, and um, so far the forecast is looking rather good for our exhibition at Kingston upon Thames this coming Saturday, which is great news as far as I'm concerned. If anyone's in the area, do please come along, say hello, It'd be great to meet you and have a chat. And I'm just so enjoying being able to get out and show my paintings again, because after all, to me, that's the whole point of art is to share it and bring pleasure to people with it. So it'd be lovely to see you there if you're in the neighbourhood. So this week on the show, I'm joined again by the wonderful artist and songwriter, Rosie Hodson. So hi, Rosie. Welcome back. Let me add you in. Great to have you join. Oh. No, again, I did it again. Don't let me do that. <laughs> Great to have you join me again. How are you? Yes, I'm really good, thanks. Good, good. So you've been uh, been busy writing a new song for me. I have, yeah, yes. Yeah, so uh, a little longer than the last one. Okay, brilliant. Oh, yes, I should have warned you to bring your tissues. Oh dear. <laughs> it's all right. I've got something to hand. Okay. <laughs> right, so um, let's let's do our bits first and then chat about them afterwards. So this week, the subject of our literary attentions is my painting, which is called Standing Proud. And that's on the wall behind me, but I'm going to put it on the screen as well so that you can see it a little bit better. So uh, unusually for me, this is a mixed media painting using acrylic inks and acrylics, and I think a few other bits and pieces as well. And it's actually 16 by 16 inches. Um, so that's a bit about the painting. And it is an old oak tree. And other than that, Rosie didn't know anything about my painting before she um, chose this one to write her song about. So Rosie, would you like to perform your song for us um, that you've written based on this painting? Yeah, okay. I'll just before I do, I'm, um, I have written this as a story, as a, like a little story, and it is on the on the point from the point of view of the tree. So, okay. I in the song, I am the tree. Brilliant. So, yeah, we'll try. <laughs> stand tall proud and true against the sky of milky blue the wintry sun casts silver beams that seep in through my bark and seams the freezing rain of winter's night has given way to gentle light I spread my limbs to catch each ray drink in the beauty of the day and the memories of all the years sights I've witnessed joys and tears all these memories I do store deep inside this oaken core the two young lovers lost in bliss under my branches stole a kiss i felt no anger at the pains when in my side they etched their names they picnicked in my emerald shade years later on their children played among my limbs so broad and strong while robins trilled their merry song and the memories of all the years sights i've witnessed joys and tears all these memories i do store deep inside this oaken core then many years along life's road they'd visit still their movements slowed and sit on deck chairs on the grass and talk with me of good times past i still remember 
that autumn day with bitter wind and skylit grey she came alone her body shrunk and leaned her head against my trunk and the memories of all the years sights i've witnessed joys and tears all the memories i do store deep inside this oaken core sometime i knew our time was past the seasons change they do not last the sap within me rose in pain i never saw her face again so here i stand in winter's chill my leafless branches stark and still once verdant fields stretch out below now covered white with sparkling snow and the memories of all the years sights i've witnessed joys and tears all these memories i do store Deep inside this oaken core, deep inside this oaken core. Wow. I know why you said I needed some tissues. I get yeah, this. It's a struggle for me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely beautiful, Rosie. Really loved it. Just that the story and, you know, the tree having feelings like that, just absolutely gorgeous. Love it to bits. Oh, thank um, you. I'll send you a copy of the words. <laughs> brilliant. I will get round to posting it on Facebook in due course. Definitely. That'd be lovely if, if that's all right with you, of course, again. So brilliant. Oh, yeah. Well, I just have to talk to you a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just need to talk to you a bit more before I read my poem, because that was just like, wow, just, yeah. I just love that, you know, the, you know, I know that it's my painting that you wrote it about, but it's it's just painted another whole picture and story in my head, which is just beautiful and sad at the same time. So hopefully her, the, there'll um, be another little family in due course to go yeah. and well, that's what I thought it sit goes under on. the oak. Yes, yeah, because they can live up to about a thousand years, some oaks. Exactly. So that's just yeah. one chapter in his life, really. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. OK, so here we go. I will do mine now, compose myself. So uh, obviously called Standing Proud. So a single acorn fallen here two centuries past, watered by the rain in the warm, soft earth, nurtured by the sun as it emerged from the soil, purposefully reaching ever upward to the sky. It survived being nibbled by hungry herbivores and branches wrested from it by nature's fury. It added height and girth with each passing year, from seedling to sapling, growing tall and strong. A slowly tapering trunk branching as it rises, punctuated by rough grown callus and scars anchored and supported by far spreading roots, mirroring underground its spreading canopy. From limb to branch to a tracery of twigs, a beautiful and interlaced dividing pattern. It shows its graceful and delicate structure as it rests in the cool of the winter months. Expectantly awaiting spring's impending return, the warmer, longer days as the earth's axis tilts the cycle of life shifting dormant to active, waking the tree from its annual slumber. The oak now senses a change in the air and will soon be clothed in its fresh green jacket, a home for insects, birds, squirrels and bats, and a shady retreat in the heat of summer. Having grown to majestic and stately maturity, standing proud and alone in solitary splendor, this ancient oak with gnarled and twisted limbs is the perfect emblem of strength and endurance. So uh, mine was sort of a little bit like a story of the tree through the year, but 
But yours came from, from the very beginning of the acorn, didn't it? So you kind of yeah. like joined your story after almost about halfway through your poem. My, my yes, story. yeah. And, and did you know that? that sorry. sorry, I love the bit about the underground mirroring the canopy on above. That's that's lovely. That line. Oh, thank you. Uh, laced, you... laced branches because they really are, aren't they? Very laced. Absolutely. Yeah, and when they go down to the little fine twigs at the end as well. But um, did you know that oaks were actually worshipped and, and revered by the Druids and people as well? And and um, for quite a long time, people used to get married under oak trees as well. Oh, there we are, um, the two young lovers, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And let alone having oak leaf um, oh, yeah. you know, uh, crowns oh. around their heads to to signify strength and victory. So... They've had a long history, oak trees, and um, you know, hopefully they'll go on for a long time yet. So it's a, a fascinating subject, you know, because doing not just the poetry and learning a little bit about poetry and stuff, but actually learning about subjects like oak trees and you know, for me as well, cliffs and all sorts of things. You know, it, it's it's really yeah. broadening my horizons as well doing these shows, which is great. So. Um, yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. When I wrote the bit about the the memories part, and I was thinking about the rings, and each mm. set of memories is not like, like another ring coming. Yes. Three grows. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some, oh, yeah. And we both mentioned the, the the greenness of the shade, didn't we? The. Mm. Yes. The a lovely place for people to get out of the heat of the sun and animals yeah. as well and yeah. yeah yeah so many so many benefits you know it's I think the oak has more wildlife on it um, than any other tree in this country yeah um, I had to decide who was going to be my featured creature and mm. I looked up which birds you know like to inhabit the oak tree and Robin was one yeah so I, popped, I popped him in that's <laughs> Yeah, it was lovely that. I just think, and and yours was all rhyming as well, which was lovely. I I didn't go with a rhyming one this time because I just it just didn't feel quite right for me. No, so. I, think, I, I think you you don't. Sometimes you lose something if, unless like with a song. I think it needs to, but with the poem, mm. it doesn't. And and I think sometimes it, it can be a bit forced if you and you can yes. get a, a, a better language without rhyming sometimes, can't you? I mean, Martin, yes. Martin's a fine example, isn't he? Because he doesn't rhyme, but his is incredibly yeah. Cool, yeah. deep. Very powerful. Yes, really powerful and wonderful poems. Yes. So uh, I've been so lucky meeting so many lovely people doing this show as well, you know, yourself included. Just it's been absolutely great. So, but I yeah. believe from your point of view, you are a very busy person already as you've been getting house portrait commissions for Christmas already even yeah yeah that was quite a surprise because the last three I've had have all been people who want things done for Christmas one yeah. being one being St Paul's Cathedral wow <laughs> or not, Gosh. nothing challenging about that at all <laughs> not, not really <laughs> no, not really <laughs> so uh, are, yeah. these, are these um surprise gifts or are you able to tell us a little bit about them or um, I mean, don't well, don't I, give, don't ruin the surprise if they are. One I've already shown Fiona privately, but I can't really go. But yeah, one I said is it's St Paul's Cathedral, but um, I'm not going to say any more about who it's for. But uh, yeah. and, um, another one was for a lady for, and it's for uh, her mother. So it's a parents' house. I got, a, I guess, a lot, of, um, a lot of requests for parents' houses, particularly. Oh, right. for but also I get Valentine's Day is quite popular, birthdays, anniversaries, another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can keep me going all year, but Chris, oh, this is the earliest I've had to start on Christmas. I think. Yes, wow. Well, it's good for people to get in early because I'm sure you're going to get booked solid really quickly with, you know, getting bookings in already. So, yeah. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. You get in early, particularly if you have a deadline that's before Christmas. So. Yes, yes. And, and are you still working mainly in watercolour or you moving? Yeah, you did yeah, some in acrylics, I think. Yeah, the acrylic one um, are tend to be ones that I paint from, um, that are not commissions. So they're just mm. like paintings. And then I try to, I see if I, you know, if anybody wants to buy them, that's 
more i don't know what the term is for that when you just paint things that are not commissions non commissions <laughs> for example i mean this one was just something i was playing around with but i actually really like it oh wow just looking like, at my screen well, there it's, it's so a, vibrant quite little <laughs> but yeah i really enjoyed that because i was being it was just something that I, I saw something like it on um, on the internet and i thought i'd just have a go at something similar mm. I, Oh, it's amazing it's, it's so vibrant and it's full of life even though it's a you know you know night scene but it's just it's just there it's yeah yeah it's brilliant well, like, wet streets are great to do because mm. you know the whole street can reflect the lights then yes yeah and you you said you're you're getting some new techniques with your watercolors as well is that something yeah, that you can I've definitely um mastered the technique with bricks a lot easier now i used to i used to paint each brick individually with a with a barbecue skewer like oh, I don't wow. know, like this just paint them all um yeah that i don't do that so much now i tend to do um a wash and then either i use a, um, a white acrylic pen or i use or i poke through to the lighter color mm. underneath yes and then draw them out and then if the bricks are sort of different colors i didn't add on i changed some of the colors so that they're a bit of a mishmash yeah it just gives it more let life and energy doing that doesn't it yeah. as well you know a bit more variety in the yeah. uh, the colors and tones and everything so yeah brilliant so so what else is happening for you at the moment well art wise <laughs> yes because everything's opening up a lot more now because i you know, when I started doing this, I didn't have any work at all. And then, so I've gone mm. back to doing my little music mu music and movement business on a Monday. Oh, good, good. Um, but that's finished now for the summer. Mm. But, um, yeah, I've got a lot. I, I do quite a bit of voluntary work, and that's um, – there's Age UK Charity Shop and Liberty Tea Rooms, which is uh, a sort of charitable cafe that runs in Hemel Hempstead. Um, it, the idea is that people can pay as – if they can't afford the price, I mean, the prices are low anyway, but if they can't afford mm. it, they can just put in a contribution and it's all done on honesty and they put money in an envelope and then put it in a box. Yes. Oh, that's great. And all the staff are volunteers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. To get my barista skills um, sharpened up again for when that <laughs> opens in August. <laughs> yes. Oh. So that'll be another day used up. So Yes, yeah. So you're still getting enough time to paint at the moment as well with everything else? Well, yeah, I mean, I've got to think about, yeah, there's a lot of things to think about whether I give up some of this stuff to, because um, at the moment, once that, once that starts back, I'll only really have Fridays and Mondays in the holidays and then just Fridays afterwards, unless mm. I spend my whole weekend painting. <laughs> yes. Oh, we've got Jackie listening in. Oh, Jackie, am I on replay? No, Jackie, you're on live. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Lovely to have you join us. So uh, do feel free to ask questions, Jackie, or make comments. Um, more the merrier. So, Great. Uh, you who says Jackie? Oh, is it, is it Jackie? My friend? <laughs> Jackie Walker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, yeah. Jackie. Yeah. Did you so, hear the song? Have you recovered yet? <laughs> Jackie gets a bit. A bit emotional. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised with that, that song. Oh, no, oh, but she says she will do. Yeah, oh, right, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, get your <laughs> tissues out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, it is a tearjerker, Jackie. There's, a, there's another it's, one, actually. Um, there's another tearjerker is Abbey House in um, in Cornwall. Do you ever check that? That's on my profile, that one. And yes. That's a story of uh, yeah. a lady who who basically lost her husband and stayed in the house until she went a bit doodle mm. That's a That one's from a little while back, isn't it? Yes. I think, yeah. isn't it? Yes, yeah, because I saw that one or heard that one. Don't yeah. see a song, do you? Hear a song. That's um, right. Jackie, you'll have to watch it on replay It's and listen to it. It's brilliant, really brilliant. But do get your tissues ready. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's another sad one. So, uh, oh, but some... Yeah. Uh, well, we, we do have a bit of other news as well, don't we, Rosie? Because um, I'm actually really excited because 
I will be appearing on Rose's live show next week. So the tables are going to be turned yep. and I'm writing a poem about one of Rose's beautiful paintings. So yeah. uh, it's going to be exciting. I shall be in the in the guest chair next week instead really? of, yeah, whatever my chair's called. I don't know. <laughs> I've, already written, I've already written that song. It's been done once, but I'm, I'm going to cheat and do it again. <laughs> Well, you've already done this one this week as well, so yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you know, so yeah, yeah, find find something to do on Friday this Friday though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh. I've got a, yeah, I've got a special offer painting. I've there's three paintings it could be, and I've asked people to say which is their favourite, um, and I think we know which one it's going to be. It is, um, yeah. It's the one called Holiday. And it's lots of little houses on a cliff. So I'll be uh, yeah I'll be putting that up for a, a reduced offer. Excellent. Well, everybody, take a look at Rose's um, Facebook now. Otherwise, you might miss out, and uh, you don't want to do that because Rose's paintings are beautiful. Oh, thank so, you. So that sounds like a fantastic opportunity, at reduced price as well. I have to have a look when we're finished. So um, yeah. But, in the meantime, I shall be writing my poem about your painting for next week. Yes. Um, and going back to you got a lovely day for Richmond on Saturday, haven't you? Yeah, Kingston. Kingston. Kingston sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's looking oh, brilliant like, at the moment. Yeah, well, not Kingston and Richmond. They sound it, but I don't. They they are quite close. They're quite close, but, but you um, won't see you at Richmond. <laughs> no, no, I won't be in Richmond Saturday, but. Uh, no, it was it was really good getting back there two weeks ago, seeing people, having chat, and um, just really lovely to get out and about. And it's all in the fresh air as well, which is yeah. good. Um, yeah, I'm Jackie's, Jackie's agreeing. That indeed, Jackie's yeah. agreeing that your paintings are beautiful. Thanks. Absolutely. Um, but yes, it's it's not only. A feeling of sort of getting back to something that's a bit more normal um but it's also just you know the chance to talk with people again that you don't normally see you know we, we've got our groups you know on facebook and messenger and things and family but you know actually to be able to meet up with new people and have a chat with people that you you know you don't know that well that you you know you haven't been able to speak to them during covid it, it's it's wonderful to get back out there again so we did have a little bit of rain last time but at the moment really touching good. wood here this yeah. Saturday looks like it's going to be really good and um we've got the sun stage rather than an umbrella I think absolutely well after about half eight nine o'clock we're actually in the shade in our bit anyway okay. so um it's quite in in the hot weather that's good in the winter it's not quite so good mm. It can be pretty cold there, but yeah, because um, you're off so, bank or something, aren't you? Uh, we're outside Barclays Bank, um, out in the open air, completely open air. So um, yeah, we we are. Hmm. Um, you know, if if it rains, we do cover over with plastic sheeting to protect the work, um, then uncover hopefully um, hmm. when it eases off. Um, but uh, and, and last time I did have somebody actually peering under the plastic to look at the paintings, yeah, which was lovely. So I did go and hold the plastic for her. Yeah, it was still raining at the time. Oh, but, um, actually, don't want getting bored yeah. the painting. So we're we're quite lucky with the weather overall. Having said that, hopefully it hasn't jinxed anything. But um, well, this weekend should be fine. Yes. Yeah. So. But would they? Good. Not would they not let you have a gazebo or anything like that well the problem is that it's on you know a tiled ground oh, so yeah. we'd yeah. be no we've got no way of fixing it down no. um I need it down. Whether, yeah but and then, then you carry those weights wouldn't you? yes and um, to be to be worth having they've got to be really heavy yeah. and um we would need because we we stretch the whole length of the bank Oh, right. okay. we would need fine. probably about at least half a dozen gazebos, I think, and yeah. we've got some that have um, freestanding a boards in the centre as well. Mm. So, 
yeah we we have we have thought about suggesting to barclays that they put some awnings that come out when it's raining for us to shelter our artwork yeah. not, come not quite back sure back. not quite sure what's in it for them but it'd be good for us <laughs> Not, not sure we'll be able to persuade them to do that, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. but the, the worst thing really for us is if we've got um, any, if it starts to get really windy. Oh, yes. It can blow the paintings about. Yeah. Even if it's dry, the wind can just be, a, you know, yeah. a killer. Yeah, and we have paintings to paint. up the street is not fun. Yeah. Well, one of my paintings um, on a particularly windy day when the wind got up in the afternoon, it lifted the painting off the boards took it right up in the air and like most banks each floor of the bank is quite tall so you know they've got very high ceilings well it put it on the window ledge of the first <laughs> floor of the bank yeah. behind um a line which is due um supposed to stop pigeons landing or whatever it was actually the right way up and facing out the right way oh but it was way up on yeah. the bank so we did manage to get it down with the help of a, one of the very kind bank employees. Um, yeah, you can have that one if you can get it. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was amazing that it just lifted it up and put it up on this window ledge. Like a kite. If yeah, if you'd wanted it to be up there, no way. But um, that was whilst we were packing up and we, we sort of tried to pack up even quicker at that point. So we didn't need any more paintings disappearing like that. So. Was it on canvas, that one? Yes, yeah, no frame. So um, it, it survived. It survived perfectly well. Um, so all, all was fine in the end. Um, but, yeah, so we're just about at the end of our time, Rosie. So it's oh, been an God. absolute pleasure having you back on the show. And thank you so much for writing such an excellent song about one of my paintings. And uh, as usual, I do hope that you'll come back again very soon to join me for another session of the Poetry of Painting. If you can face writing an extra song <laughs> sometime. Yeah. Uh, that'd yeah. be great. If anybody else wants me to write a song about one of their paintings, or, well, I don't know. I got in first. I think I Fiona got in first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, first tips. <laughs> But you, you're getting your own back because I'm writing one about one of your beautiful paintings. I'm really so. looking forward to that. That's good. So next week, I'll be back with another fabulous poet coming to join me for more talk about poetry and painting. And so I hope that you'll be able to join me again next Wednesday at 7 p.m. UK time live here on Facebook. Uh, don't forget that you can sign up to my VIP mailing list to see new paintings and to get invitations to events and things um, in my newsletter. And that's at www.fionahooper.com. Uh, Rosie, do put your links in the comments once it's on Facebook. Um, don't put them in here because they won't appear. So um, just give it a few minutes and then put them in so that people can find you. So stay safe. Oh, my voice went funny. Um, <laughs> stay safe, everybody. Have a good week. See you next week for another session of Poetry of Painting. And it's bye for now from Rosie and myself. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. bye.